Hello, today we will be solving this problem called tasks and deadlines. So we have to process n tasks. Each task has a duration and a deadline and we will process the task in some order one after another. And our reward for task is d minus f where d is the deadline and f is our finishing time. The starting time is zero and we have to process all tasks even if the reward, even if a task would yield a negative reward. And what is the maximum reward if we act optimally? N can be as large as two times 10 to the fifth and A and D uh, can be as large as, as a million. So let's copy this example and see what we can come up with. So in order to get an idea uh, of how to solve this problem, let's, let's see all possible permutations. So we have one, two, three, then all possible permutations would be one, three, two, one, two, one, three, two, three, one, three, one, two, and three, two, one. Okay. And for each one, let's see what reward we would get. So for the first one here, one, two, three, we would start with the first task. It would take us six seconds and our reward would be, so this would give us 10 minus six. Okay. Plus the second reward would be 15 minus, uh, we would finish the second task after finishing the first two. So minus 14 plus 12 minus 19, because it takes us 19 seconds to finish all three. So this would give us, uh, let's not simplify yet. Let's move on to the next example. So one, three, two. Again, we start with the first task. So the reward would be 10 minus six plus 15 minus, uh, we minus 11 because it takes 11 seconds to finish the first, the first and third task plus 12 minus 19 okay so this is less than the previous value so this is better okay let's look at uh, the, the other one so 213 this would give us a reward of 15 minus 8 plus 10 minus 14 plus 12 minus 19 then two, three, one. This would give us uh, 15 minus eight plus 12 minus 13 plus 10 minus 19. Then three, one, two. This would give us five. Uh, <coughs> for five, the reward is 12. So 12 minus five plus 10 minus 11 plus 15 minus 19 and finally 3 to 1 would give us 12 minus 5 plus 15 minus 13 plus 10 minus 19 so there are a few things we can notice here the 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 reward here is constant, like the deadline. The, the, pl the, the values with a plus sign are always the same. They're always 10, 15, 12. What changes is the values we take away from it. If we take this first example here, we can see something like we have 10 minus 6 plus 15 minus 14 what is this 14 it's minus 6 minus 8 plus 12 minus 6 minus 8 minus 5 so the values that are negative 
are actually all the all the times required for for that prefix like the 6 is uh, corresponds to this first prefix the 14 corresponds to this second prefix and 19 corresponds to the whole array that's why we always have a 19 here because the last value is will be constant because it corresponds to the time required to do all tasks but what we can notice here is that the value that goes first in this case uh, 6 is repeated in all terms the value that goes second is repeated in the second terms so it is obvious that we are better off if the value that repeats the most is smaller that's why the optimal answer is actually this one because here 5 is the smallest value if we calculate this this would give us 12 minus 5 which is 7 uh, minus 1 which is 6 and minus 4 which is 2 that's why the answer is 2 here and that's the optimal solution anything else would give us uh, a smaller reward so in this case okay in this case this actually was equal to 12 minus 5 plus 10 minus 5 minus 6 plus 15 minus 5 minus 6 minus 8 see 5 got repeated three times and 6 got repeated two times so it is obvious that the value that gets repeated the most needs to be the smallest and f as for the reward like these rewards are constant like they, they don't intervene at all into our logic of choosing the optimal solution the only thing we need to do is to sort these values by the first element here and to process them in that order and that way we will make sure to obtain the optimal solution so let's go ahead and check out the code so we start by reading the input then we declare a vector of pair of int int so this first value will store uh, the time required to do that task and the second value would be the deadline so we look through all the uh, tasks and scan them then we sort our array uh, with the default uh, comparator and that will sort them based on their first value then we declare two variables our reward and our time so after each after we accomplish each task the time will be incremented by the time it takes to do that task so we will look through all our tasks and for each task we increment time by deadlines dot first because this represents the time it takes to do this task and we will increment our reward with deadline dot second that's the deadline of that task minus the actual time and at the end we just print that value so let's go ahead and submit So that worked. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.